Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Kenya Kwanza are doing their final rallies in the Western region. And today, being a Sunday, it is the final day they are having their big day in the Western region. And therefore, the coalition have organized for several rallies in different counties just to finalize their time in Western. And uh, their first rally is going to be in Transoya County. They are now jumping Bungoma. I don't know why. Then the second rally is going to be in Vega County. And again, seemingly, it's like they are jumping Busia County. And uh, <clears throat> the grand final mega rally is expected to be at Bohongo Stadium. That is Kakamega County. <laughs> and you know what Bohongo means for Western region? The rally in Kakamega, especially at Bohongo Stadium, always define how Western region is going to vote. Because it depends how Kakamega is going to vote. It will explain how these other counties will vote. So that matters a lot for any politician who is seriously having interest in Western region politics. Now, but seemingly, there is effort to either stop or frustrate Kenya Kwanza from having their rallies in the Western region. Because now, at one point, Senator Kilofas Malala, who is vying for Governor Kakamega on ANC ticket, was at some point stopped from addressing rallies to rush and reach out to Honorable Benjamin Washali, who had been allegedly arrested by police officers for trying to enter Bukungo Stadium. Because you know, this team needed to prepare Bukungo Stadium, where they are going to put their dyers, prepare the tent there, so that that meeting will be so much interesting and even much advertising for Kenya Kwanza. So Halwale uh, Malala went on to reach out to Ben Washali. Mamalizia Butere, Sasa Apa Dio Station Yamwisho, Muniru Husu Nikimaliza, Nikimbie, Nandugu Yetu, Paki Maliza, Tutakot Mamaliza. Tulikuwa na Cleo Malala. Tulikuwa na e, Malava Paka Uko Lugare. Lakini, Kosababu Kesho Dio Siku Yamwisho, Sisi Kama Kenya Kwanza, Kuwa na Public Rally Yamwisho. Ya kufunga rally zetu zote ni kesho jumapili kakamega. Na tulikuwa tunabuk kwa amba tunataka buhungu. Sasa la kushangaza. Ndiyo kwa sababu malala hayuko na sisi. Tulipetoka malava tukapata ujumbe wameshika washiani. Wamemushika atieye alikuwa maenda kuangalia uwanja vile tutajipanga kuwa huko hawa ni watu wa kuzimia ni watu wa kufanya nini ni wa kuzimia kwa hivyo mkiona Cleo hayuko hapa wanajaribu kumaliza suluhisho kwanza ali, alishuka ili asaidie washali afunguliwe jambo la pili ili wamalizane na hawa tunataka uwanja wa buhungu la kushangaza watu wa kuzimia wanataka mkutano wao wa mwisho uwe tuesday na sisi tunataka wetu uwe sunday sasa uwanja ambao nyinyi mumejenga na ushuru wenu na pesa zenu ikiwa sisi tutamaliza mkutano wetu sunday na wao mkutano yao ni tuesday shida ni nini Eh? Kwani kwani tungekesha huko? Kwani tulikuwa tunakesha kutoka Sunday mpaka Tuesday? Ama Wednesday? Sisi tukimaliza mkutano wetu, tunaenda zetu kufanya campaign kwingine na wao wakae wakuja kufanya yao on Tuesday. Kwa hivyo sisi tunawatangazia tuko na mkutano mkubwa wa kumalizia kesho. Tukiwa na timu yote ya Kenya Kwanza tutakuwa kule Tanzania tufanya haraka tumalize wengine vihiga alafu grand finale iwe bukungu
mpaka meza Tunaelewana? Tuko pamoja? Na mimi nataka niwaambie Governor wetu ni Cleo Malala. Senator wetu ni Dr. Boni. Now, we don't know if Kenya Kwanza had really successfully booked for Bukungu Stadium for their rally or if they have been just forcing themselves to have their event at that place because we know ODM is going to have their event there on Tuesday for their final rallies. But when Malala reached out at Bukungu Stadium in Kakamega County, this is exactly what he found Ben Washali going through in the hands of police officers. No, 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 no. Now, seemingly, it's like Kenya Kwanza will successfully have their event in Transoya County, and after that, yes, they might have their event very successful in Vega County, but seemingly, it's like this team have been completely blocked from accessing the Bukongo Stadium in Kakamega County. So I don't know how they will have their rally, but still they insist that they are going to have their final rally in Kakamega. Even if they are being blocked from Bukungu Stadium, they will still have their event even on the road going on. That, that just only confirmed that they could have been completely blocked from accessing Bukungu Stadium. <laughs> Sasa tukutane kesho hapa. Tufunye barabara kutoka masile mulilo, paka shumere, tufanya mkano yetu hapa. Sini kutana za barabara zafanyika? Siyata ni kienda shumere na fanya mkutana wa barabara? Siyata ni kispama zaeda na fanya mkutana wa barabara? Siyata ni kispama sigalakana na fanya mkutana wa barabara? Kesho tukafanya mkutana wa barabara hapa inja ya mungungu hapa. Sasa muamuke asubui mapema, tukutane vijana wote, wamama wote, wana Kenya kwanza wote, wakuli hapa inje ya kuhungu, kutoka pale nurami, paka shirele, watu elfe manini, tunafunga kesho ibarabani, tufanya mkutana wote. Ama nimbaya hiyo, si tukafanya tuma ya kikatala kinye la kutoke, sisi ya tukakaa sana. Hile inaitwa stop over, sinio? Tumakuja, tunaungea kidogo, tunaruhusu mweshinua hende sugoi. Alangu zizi tunenda maska. Sinio? Na kesho ni holiday. Kesho wapende, wasipende. Mkutano utafanywa. Na tunambia mweshinua paranya. Now, I think today I was just reporting. Do I really need to analyze that? Hmm. Anyway, we are continuing with our final discussion, but just a quick request. 
you might be watching this channel but you are not yet subscribed so my humble request please consider subscribing so that another time once you release a video like this one you will always get notified again to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment i must say thank you so much for your unconditional support again i'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend our videos to more viewers back to our discussion now what we are not sure on this pipeline is if kenya kwanza booked the Bukungu Stadium venue with the incorrect procedure and they were given a go-ahead. That is what we are not sure of. Because at some point you will understand that Kenya Kwanza will even use propaganda just to have their way. So, we can't authoritatively say that they had used the correct procedure to book the venue and yes, they were given a permit to go ahead. But assume that they had booked in the correct way. And then they face such a harassment. What do you think about this? <clears throat> Is it going to work in the interest of Azimio or Kenya Kwanza? In my own view, if they use the correct procedure, that is going to work against Azimio, and yes, it can work in the interest of Azimio. Because definitely, the people who are against them having the rally, it is their opponent. I'm saying this why. The kind of harassment Ben Washali has gone through in the hands of police officers in Kakamega is not a good thing for Azimio. Because Azimio has no Msalia, it has no Wetangula. Those are the people who have political parties in Western that have been there for long. DAP party is something new, and you can see they are struggling with the ODM. <laughs> so, Raila has lacked those two individuals who have been close to him some time back. But then he had another way of reaching out to Luya people. And yes, these people were appealing to Raila. They are ready to vote for him. But frustrating someone like Ben Washali, a member of parliament who has served for three terms, who is likely, this time around is not running, but is sponsoring someone in Mumiasi. Is it Mumiasi East or Mumiasi West? I think Miasi West, sorry, Miasi East. Ben Washari is a member of parliament of Miasi East. Possibility of UDA candidate winning there is very high. So that seat is going to, OD, uh, to UDA party. That means Washari has people on the ground. Lawyers don't vote on line of political parties. But what you can be guaranteed is that they are going to vote for Raila Odinga. And so if you harass leaders who have served them severally, and seemingly they still listen to this leader, that word that was going to go to Raila Molo Dinga is going to turn into a protest just, in, just to sympathize with Ben Washali and vote in the opposite direction. So it's not a good thing. But yes, blocking them, it means they're not going to have a venue and they'll not speak to the people. And in that way, they might not reach out to many people in the Western region to appeal to their heart. So it is a help, but again, it is a distraction. That should be clear. <laughs> and again, secondly, it can be true that Kenya Kwanza are forcing themselves in Kakamega without using the correct procedure to book that event. Maybe they, they realize that ODM is going to have the event on Tuesday, and then they rush to have their own event on Sunday, just earlier before ODM part. Look at that. So, seemingly, they can engineer such things. Because we know at the end of the day, Kenya Kwanza have lost track to campaign. They are no longer campaigning. What they are looking for is just sympathy vote. That is what they are looking for. And therefore, they can engineer such things to provoke police officers, and then they get into a situation where some of their people are being harassed in this way. So at the end of the day, they will end up playing the victim role. And in that way, they will be appealing to the people of which to some extent they might end up sympathizing with them. So in as much they are handling, the Oparanya and the team are handling the issue of Kenya Kwanza, they should also do it very carefully. So that it might not turn out to be a sympathy to either Musalia or Wetangula or anyone within Kenya Kwanza. Because we are just seven days to the next general election. So what you do now is very important.
It can change what you have done for very long time. We are waiting to see if they are going to have their rally. Then after that, we will really be waiting for the Tuesday mega rally of Azimio la Umoja and then wait to see where lawyers are going to vote. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view, and I want to stop from here. But otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up this far. May good God bless you, and see you in our next video. But let us meet in the comment section to have a continuation of this conversation.